Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video and today we're going to talk about painting easy black armor with oil paints. Black armor is really one of the toughest things to paint. We've done some previous videos on it. So today we're going to talk about an easier way to paint it just using oils. So here I have the backpack off of Sister of Battle, Sisters of Battle along with a lot of other Space Marine types being one of the most common ways that you end up needing to paint black. And so what we're going to use here is we're going to use some various oil paints. Uh, we're going to use some Obtilung 502 Light Flesh, some Obtilung 502 uh, Blue Oxide or Copper Oxide Blue, and then we're going to just use some Winton Ivory Color or Winton Ivory Black. Now, I went ahead and just literally s slathered this thing with black ink over a Zenithal Prime. That's it. That's how we started. And now I'm taking that light flesh. And why am I using a light flesh instead of, say, white? Well, because it's a little bit warmer. And that's going to actually just make the transition nice and soft. And so I just find my area where I want my highest highlight. Take some of that oil paint, a little bit of white spirits mixed in. And I trace a nice line of highlights across there. And then on either side of that, I go and I get my... Uh, copper oxide blue patina, uh, which is just a really interesting color. I, get, it's, I know it's supposed to be for copper oxidation, but I use it for this all the time. These kinds of things. And I run a line along each side. Again, I'm not worried about blending. It's not what we're doing at this point. Now I'm going to take a nice, and then I, then I, lastly, I apply my black oil paint to just the other areas to give me something to blend in with. Now I'm going to take a nice soft brush, and I'm just going to blend that right out. Okay. Just slowly working, picking at the edges there, bringing those colors together. Now, as usual, what's great about oil paints and using oil paints for black armor is that, one, you can see how instantly smooth that transition is. Like, look at how wonderfully that goes from white down to black. Normally with acrylic paints, the way they dry, especially when you're trying to go all the way from white to black, this is just a thing that will take forever but with oil paints this was to, to do this whole backpack was like a 10 minute job and all the blends were creamy perfect smooth and you just can't do that with acrylics like you're never going to get that kind of speed and yet still accuracy because i didn't have to use something like an airbrush which is you know largely too big for the job so now i'm just adjusting the color right so the next thing you want to do is just kind of see exactly how the color is reflecting do I have enough white? Do I have enough? I'm just trying to cover it up so you get the idea of it in different lights. So you can see it's pretty soft. That paint's quite wet and creating quite a reflection on the top where it's all glossy. Uh, but it's still a wonderful transition up into that light gray color. And because everything is all mixed together, we don't have the issue of none of it feeling like black paint. Or black armor, I should say. I apologize. The because the black is getting mixed into everything. Once again, we're gonna do the same thing here with the lower part of this backpack. Again, just getting it there. Then we take a nice bone dry, soft brush. In this case, I'm just using a real tiny, soft, sable dry brush. And we just draw them all together. And like, look at how instantly wonderful that blend is. Ba boom! I, even watching it back now, like this is the only way to paint black armor, folks. Uh, it's so fast, it's so easy and it just takes seconds. And the best part is if you don't like anything, you can always do what I'm doing here, only slightly on camera, like a winner that I am. And uh, and you can just go in and add more, readjust it. Like in this case, I decided I wanted to pop up a little of my highlights a little bit. Okay, great. So I went back in, added a little more paint, and then I'm just gonna kind of smooth that out. Same thing down at the bottom, all right? So that's really all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you start with your bright color, you place in all the highlights you want, add some interference color. I used blue just to add a little bit of a, a cool interference color, but you could use anything. You could use other blues, purples, greens, whatever the environment is around you. Then you add some black oil paint, then using a soft brush, draw it all together. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can even add secondary reflections as you see me doing here. I'm using that soft secondary environmental color. I'm just going to blend that right in, and then boom, I've got a nice secondary reflection. Again, 
seconds. So easy. And I just let this dry and it's good to go. Uh, here at the end, you're going to see some videos of what the girl or some pictures of what the Space Marine looks like when she's all done. I hope you find those uh, helpful. Do give this a try. It's so easy. If you liked this, give it a like. Subscribe for additional hobby cheating in the future. Uh, but as always, I very much appreciate you watching this one, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.